hello everybody santosh here and i am going to deliver the lecture on water supply engineering which deals with the screening and aeration and these two processes are very important processes in any water treatment plant so let us start my lecture on screening and aeration first of all <coughs> we are going to discuss regarding screening what is screening water when derived from the surface sources like a lake or a river or a stream it may contain the suspended matter which may range from floating debris as a sticks branches of the trees or leaves and also fine particles such as the sand and silt etc and which causing turbidity to the water screens serve as a protective device for the remainder of the plant rather than the treatment process means it is used as a subtraction which is used as a removal of this floating debris it is not a treatment process but it is the removal process that is very important but before discussing the types of screens i am going to tell you one story in marathi regarding these uh cleaning or screening processes but it deals with your life tar chala mitranno maji marathitli hi gosht mi chalu karto ek professor astat ani te professor vikshipta ani hushar pan astat eke divshi te gammat kartat आणि वर्गात येताना ते एक ट्रे आणतात आणि त्या ट्रेबरोबर एक जार पण आणतात त्या ट्रेमध्ये त्यांनी छोटी मोठी वेगवेगळी दगडं ठेवलेली असतात त्याच्यानंतर त्यापेक्षाही छोटे पेबल्स ठेवलेले असतात आणि त्यांनी त्यात वाळू पण आणलेली असती ही जार आणि हे छोटे दगड पेबल्स आणि वाळू बघून विद्यार्थी जरा संभ्रमात पडतात आश्चर्यचकित होतात विद्यार्थ्यांना वाटतं की प्रोफेसर आपल्याला आज काय शिकवणार आहेत मग प्रोफेसर त्या विद्यार्थ्यांना विचारतात ह्याच्यात मी हे दगड घालतो आणि मला तुम्ही माझे मी विचारलेल्या प्रश्नांची उत्तरं द्या विद्यार्थी हो म्हणतात आणि मग त्या प्रोफेसर त्यात मोठे दगड भरतात बघा या चित्रात मी दाखवलेत इथं हे मोठे दगड आहेत हे जे आहेत ते दगड आहेत हे मोठे दगड ते प्रथम घालतात त्या जारमध्ये आणि या मोठ्या दगडाने जार भरतो ते जारचं परत झाकण लावतात आणि विद्यार्थ्यांना विचारतात आता जार भरला आहे का अजून भरता येईल विद्यार्थी म्हणतात नाही नाही जार भरलेला आहे आता आणखीन भरता येणार नाही मग प्रोफेसर छोटे पेबल्स घेतात म्हणजे छोटी दगडं घेतात आणि छोटी दगडं त्या मोठ्या दगडामध्ये मिसळतात ते पेबल्स ते मिसळल्यानंतर तो डबा जरा हलवतात मग त्या मोठ्या दगडांच्यामध्ये जी फट असते ज्याला आपण सिव्हिल इंजिनिअरिंगमध्ये व्हाईट्स म्हणतो या व्हाईट्समध्ये ते पेबल जाऊन बसतात इथं या चित्रात दिसतं आहे हे जे आहेत हे पेबल्स आहेत हे पेबल्स त्या व्हाईटमध्ये जाऊन बसलेले आहेत मग परत ते झाकण लावतात आणि दाखवतात विद्यार्थ्यांना तो जार किंवा तो डबा विद्यार्थी म्हणतात आता मात्र ह्याच्यात काही भरणार नाही पण सरांनी काय गंमत तर ट्रेमध्ये वाळू पण आणलेली असते ती वाळू इथं लाल कलरने दाखवली दिस इज द सँड ह्या लाल कलरने किंवा ही जी आहे ती सँड आहे आणि मग त्या ह्याच्यात थोडी थोडी सँड पोअर करतात आणि तो डबा किंवा तो जार हलवतात तर त्या मोठ्या दगडातली आणि छोट्या दगडाच्या मधली जी गॅप आहे त्याच्यामध्ये ती वाळूसुद्धा जाऊन बसते आणि विद्यार्थ्यांना ते जार दाखवतात आणि म्हणतात यातून तुम्ही काय बोध घ्याल विद्यार्थ्यांना काही हां त्याच्यावर उत्तर देता येत नाही तेच विद्यार्थी प्रोफेसरना विचारतात सर तुम्ही हा वेगळा एक्सपेरिमेंट केलेला आहे त्यामुळं आम्हाला याविषयी काही जास्त माहीत नाही आहे फक्त ह्याच्यातनं ग्रेडेशन किंवा व्हाईट्समध्ये जाऊन छोटे पार्टिकल बसतात आणि त्याहून व्हाईट्स असतील तर त्यात अजून छोटे पार्टिकल्स बसतात असं एक विद्यार्थी उत्तर देतो सर म्हणतात हे बरोबर आहे पण मला तुम्हाला प्रोफेसर म्हणतो मला तुम्हाला एक गोष्ट म्हणजे त्याविषयीचं तत्वज्ञान सांगायचे जे मोठे दगड जे आहेत ते मोठे दगड म्हणजे तुमची फॅमिली आहे तर फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी इज द फॅमिली दॅट इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट त्यानंतर पेबल्स किंवा ते छोटे दगड जे आहेत 
ते तुमचं करिअर आहे <coughs> तर करिअर ॲज अ सेकंड प्रायोरिटी करिअर इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टंट आणि तिसरी जी वाळू दिसते आहे लाल कलरची ही जी वाळू आहे ती वाळू म्हणजे तुमच्यातले दोष किंवा तुमच्या लिस्ट प्रायोरिटीज आहेत तर <coughs> त्याला लिस्ट प्रायोरिटी म्हणून ट्रीट करा म्हणजेच हे जार जर जीवन असलं तर या जीवनात तुम्ही सर्वप्रथम प्रायोरिटी तुमच्या फॅमिलीला सेकंड प्रायोरिटी तुमच्या करिअर नॉलेज आणि एज्युकेशनला आणि थर्ड प्रायोरिटी ही इतर छोट्या गोष्टींना किंवा तुमच्यात जे षडरिपूर लपलेले आहेत काम क्रोध मद माया मोह आणि मत्सर या षडरिपूंसाठी त्या वाळू एवढी जागा तुम्ही तुमच्या जीवनात ठेवली पाहिजे ही हे मोरल स्टोरी ही मोटिवेशनल स्टोरी आणि एम पी एस सीच्या अभ्यास करणाऱ्या लोकांसाठी फर्स्ट स्टोनला तर तुम्ही किंमत द्याच द्या मोठ्या दगडांना पण तुम्हाला पेबल्सलासुद्धा किंमत द्यायची आहे दॅट इज युअर सेकंड प्रायोरिटी अँड दॅट इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट म्हणून एम पी अभ्यास तुम्ही चांगला करा आणि त्याबद्दल तुम्हाला शुभेच्छा दॅन लेट अस डिस्कस अबाऊट व्हेरियस टाईप्स ऑफ स्क्रीनिंग और व्हेरियस टाईप्स ऑफ स्क्रीन्स यूज फॉर स्क्रीनिंग according to their sizes one is the core screen and another is the fine screen these two screens are used for screening then we are going to discuss the core screen it may be called as a bar screen also because in that core screen bars are used core screens or bar screens are intended to intercept only grosser floating material means bigger floating material को इंटरसेप्ट करने के लिए दिस ये स्कोर स्क्रीन का उपयोग किया जाता है दे आर मोस्टली इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बार ग्रिल देन द बार्स आर जनरली 25 फाइव एम इन साइज इन डायमीटर और इट इज इन स्क्वेर शेप एंड स्पेस डैट सेवेंटी फाइव टू हंड्रेड एम एम सेंटर टू सेंटर मोस्ट बार्स आर केप्ट इनक्लाइन प्लीज लुक एट दिस फिगर दिस बार्स आर केप्ट इनक्लाइन और देर इज दिस बार दिस बार इज केप्ट एज अ इनक्लाइन why it is kept inclined because for inclined bars if there is a floating and intercepting material we can clean that floating or intercepting material from that inclined bar very easily than that of vertical bar trash racks are often included in dam and other intake structures such a inclined arrangement is called as a trash racks and it is used in dams and other intake structures for the purpose of cleaning they are placed on a slope of 3 to 6 vertical to 1 horizontal means this one horizontal and 3 to 6 meter as a vertical <coughs> so this is 1 to 3 or 1 to 6 <laughs> this is the please look at this figure this is the channel this is the channel this incoming water is there here there is a screening of inclined bars and <coughs> then it there is a perforated bars also for perforations and water goes through this pore screen okay then we are going to discuss the fine screens name itself indicate it is used for finer material and fine screens are used at surface water intake sometimes alone or sometimes with the bar screen means with the core screen in order that fine screens do not get clogged up some devices is set up to clean it continuously because finer particles going to clog that screen so clogging removal is very important so such a arrangement is made in the fine screens due to this reason fine screens are usually arranged as endless bands or drums of material perforated with holes of about 6 mm diameter so there is a arrangement of perforated pipes the process is therefore known as a automatic straining automatic strainer is self cleaning and they work continuously elimination solids from the liquid flowing through the flowing through that uh, device and disposing of these solids also continuously in automatic strainer a pair of straining fabrics is submerged in the water to be strained while the remainder of the fabric remain above the water please look at this figure of fine screen 
here there is unstrained water shown here then debris super is here this arrangement is called as a hooper arrangement this debris super is here and here there is a strained water coming out of this and there uh, there is perforated pipe arrangement to remove the suspended fine particles from the water okay and here there is strain water is also coming here okay so <coughs> please know the basic concept of that fine screening then second process which is important is aeration aeration is one of the important unit operation of the gas transfer it is very important gas transfer the aim of aeration is to create extensive new and self renewing interfaces between air and water means aeration means there is a contact of air and water to keep interfacial films from building up in thickness so what is the aeration aeration is <coughs> allowing the water to contact with the air and with this process we can achieve certain objectives that objectives are enumerated as below it removes the taste and odors caused by the gases due to organic decomposition that is very important when water come into contact with air there is a organic decomposition it increases the do content of water do means dissolved oxygen content of the water means it makes the water very clean it removes the hydrogen sulfide you know that the odor of the hydrogen sulfide is very terrific hence the odor due to this is also removed it decreases the carbon dioxide content of the water therefore reduces the corrosiveness and raises the ph value that is very important reduces the corrosion and increases the ph value it converts iron and manganese form their soluble states to their insoluble states so that this can be precipitated and removed so it is useful in removal of the iron and manganese which <coughs> which are harmful contents of water due to agitation of water during aeration some bacteria may be killed to some extent and when water allows to flow into air then there are there is also sunlight and due to that sunlight also and due to agitation bacteria may be killed to some extent it also used for mixing chemicals with the water that is very important it is used to mix chemical with the water as in the aero mix process and in the use of diffused compressed air the air used is diffused compressed air that is very important so you must know what is aeration and what are the object objectives of aeration then third important as aspect as far as competitive examination or degree or diploma diploma level examinations are concerned that are the type of aerators aeration is done by the following main types of aerators you know the center of gravity that is cg you know the si units that is si c means cascade aeration g means gravel bed aeration s means slat tray aeration and i means inclined apron aerators so these all four aerators fall into the major category of free fall aerators or gravity aerators and second type of aerators are the spray aerators name itself indicates it is in the form of spray and third third are the air diffuser basins so you remember all these three types of aerators first of all we are going to discuss the cascade aerators name itself indicate cascade means what what you what do you mean by cascade cascade means series of steps means series of rise and tread that is cascade cascade aerators are a simplest form of free aerator wears and waterfalls of any kind are the cascade aerators a simple cascade consisting of series of 3 to 4 steps of concrete or metal water is allowed to fall through a height of 1 to 3 meter and due to this 
it comes into the close contact with the air the cascades can be either open air or it may be a room which has plenty of lower air inlet for the ventilation the reduction of carbon dioxide that is co2 is usually in the range of 50 to 60 percent please look at this figure this figure is simplified here here are the series of steps and that height is 1 to 3 meter that height is 1 to 3 meter water is allowed to flow over the series of steps and here is inlet trough here is a outlet trough and such a aeration is called as a cascade aeration it is very simple second is inclined apron aerator with riffle plate so you must know what is the riffle plate riffle plate is the plate placed here it is shown in these circles and the arrangement of riffle uh, plates are in herring bone fashion herring bone fashion is herring bone sir in this stagger or in this style so such a plate sir placed on inclined apron aerator in this aerator water is allowed to fall along the inclined plane this is the inclined plane and or it may be called as apron and which is usually studded with the riffle plates in herring bone fashion the breaking up to the sheet of water will cause the agitation of the water that is aeration means we are creating agitation of the water and it also <coughs> creates or conse consequently it proceed towards the aeration then third is the uh, 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 next uh, next type that is b type is the slit uh, slit tray aerators this is the most commonly used it consisting of the closed round or square structure containing a series of closely stacked superimposed wood slit trays water enters the top of aerator and it evenly distributed over the topmost tray please look at this arrangement and then we are going to describe that the water enters here there are series of trays are here and <coughs> water is going down from these trays from topmost tray to bottommost tray these are shown as a wooden slate trays and air is blowed from the bottom so water is traveling from top to bottom air is traveling from bottom to top and after that the water is collected in this collect collection pans and this is the outlet and there is a arrangement for ventilation also so you must remember this figure to explain all these points air is supplied to the bottom of the aerator with the help of a blower which blow it upward a ventilator is provided at the top which discharges air and gases to the atmosphere and water is collected into the collector plan pan at the bottom from which it flows to a catch basin or a reservoir that is very simple then <coughs> gravel bed aerators so it may be called as a trickling beds and there is one short note in all papers regarding trickling beds so you must know what is the trickling bed it is cascading through the beds of the coke limestone and anthracite is believed to have more efficient co2 removal than any other method so this gravel bed aerators or trickling beds are used to remove the carbon dioxide very efficiently from the water water is applied at the top in the similar process water is applied from the top and trickles down while air is blown upwards <coughs> the thickness of the gravel bed may be from 1 to 1.5 meter this is the gravel bed and thickness varies from 1 to 1.5 meter in another form commonly used trickling beds three or four trays filled with the coke slag or a stone are used the thickness of the bed in each tray is kept 0.5 to 0.6 
meter or 50 to 60 centimeter while the vertical distance between the bed is kept as a 0.5 meter means 50 centimeter water is applied from the top through a perforated distributed uh, distribution pipe during the trickling process aeration takes place means these are the perforated pipes water is allowed to trickle from the top and at the bottom there is arrangement of this trickling bed and water is collected downwards but air is applied upwards this is the process you must know the coke there is first layer of coke second layer of lime powder or lime and third is the anthracite means it is one type of coal also then we are going to discuss the spray aerators name itself indicates it is in the form of spray spray aerators divide the water flow into fine streams and small droplets which come into intimate contact with the air in their trajectory water is sprinkled in fine jets through nozzles and it required considerable head that is 0.75 to 1.5 kg per centimeter square but it reduces the carbon dioxide by 70 to 90 percent or more than that this is the nozzle this is the pipe and water is applied through pressure of 0.75 to 1.5 kg per centimeter square through this nozzle and it ultimately comes contact with the air and such a aeration is called as a spray aeration it is very simple then we are going to discuss regarding air diffusers or air diffusion in this method perforated pipe network is installed at the bottom of the aeration tank and compressed air blown through these pipes the air bubbles travel upwards through the water causing the aeration air diffuser basins have a retention period of about 15 minutes means water is allowed to retain for 15 minutes and to a depth of 3 to 5 meter alternatively compressed air may be injected into the flow of water in a pipe or air at atmospheric pressure may be drawn in the pipe where construction such as a throat of venturi tube reduces the water pressure below atmospheric pressure however aeration under pressure does not remove the co2 that is very important aeration under pressure does not remove the co2 please look at this figure at the bottom these are the perforated pipe shown here and these are the perforations to that pipe the depth of water in aeration tank is 3 to 5 meter depth and air is blown through that so that bubbles are coming out and <coughs> it causes the aeration but removal of co2 it is not efficient method for removal of co2 so thanking you and for more details and notes you may please contact my administrator on 9822604968 my email id is svkulkarni72 at the rate gmail.com and <coughs> thanks for the subscriber ata mi thoda marathit sangen subscriber tumi kiwa majhe video baghnare lok tumchatla ani majhatla nata he hat ani dolya sarkha hai ka hat ani dolya sarkha hai jar hatala lagla tar aplya dolyala pani yeta pan dole pusala matra parat aplyala hatacha vapar karav lagto tar aplya relation hat ani dolya sarkha thewa majha channel avadlas सब्स्क्राइब करा मजे वीडियो आवड़स तो लाइक करा आशे मजे वीडियो बगत रहा हि नम्र विनंती धन्यवाद थैंक यू बाय बाय